She grew up in a middle-class home. The Kamala Harris campaign has launched a new TV ad focusing on her working class childhood and attacking her opponent, Donald Trump. It's part of a $50 million ad blitz leading up to next week's Democratic National Convention. I'm Kamala Harris and I approve this message. The ad spending comes after a week of swing state rallies by Harris and her VP nominee, Tim Walls. to fight for it. The intense campaigning appears to be working. Several polls now show Harris with a slight lead over Trump nationally and in some key swing states, though within those polls, margin of error. And Harris voters are even more eager to vote for her than Donald Trump voters are to him. We've not seen that in the entire campaign. The Trump campaign argues the Harris polling bump is simply a honeymoon period that won't last as voters learn more about the vice president. Trump's VP nominee, Senator J.D. Vance, appeared on several Sunday morning talk shows. We're running against a different person who a lot of Americans just don't know. And so I think we have to remind people that President Trump delivered lower prices, lower inflation, a prosperous and peaceful world, and also a secure border. And Kamala Harris's policies have produced the exact opposite. Meantime, the Trump campaign says it was recently hacked and U.S. news outlets report receiving materials from an anonymous source. So far, none of those outlets have published materials sourced from the alleged hack. And on his Truth Social platform, Trump inaccurately claimed that photos of large crowds at a Harris rally were doctored. On Wednesday, Donald Trump will hold a rally in North Carolina. On Thursday, Kamala Harris will hold her first joint campaign event with Joe Biden here in the state of Maryland. Next week, Democrats will gather in Chicago for their nominating convention. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Bethesda, Maryland.